my question is, has justice been served for the wrongdoings against Zack Snyder? Welcome to another episode of Neon Radio. I'm Reese. Wow, I nearly blew my ears off of that welcome. You like <laughs> I'm that? Dan. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> this, week, this week we're reviewing Zack Snyder's Justice League. Determined to ensure Superman's ultimate sacrifice was not in vain, Bruce Wayne aligns forces with Diana Prince and plans to recruit a team of metahumans to protect the world from an approaching threat of catastrophic proportions. What a history this movie has. It does. It has quite a bit of history. Uh, unfortunately, back in 2017, uh, Zack Snyder's daughter, Autumn, uh, took her own life. And because of this, uh, he had to step down from production. Uh, after he st stepped down from production, uh, the studio brought in Joss Whedon. Yes. And the controversy starts now. Yes. Uh, Joss Whedon ended up refilming over 70 pages of the film. 10% of Zack Snyder's film was left. Uh, and uh, by the end of it, the studio also had a mandate to make sure that the film was under two hours long. Mm. Zack Snyder already had uh, friction with the, the studio. He yeah. had a three and a half hour cut originally of Justice League. Uh, and they said it was too long. So he cut it back to two and a half hours. And they still were not happy. Uh, through the years, because the original Justice League of 2017... Uh, was pretty much critically panned and fanatically panned. Through the years, they started a hashtag called Release the Snyder Cut. Yep. And since then, we have finally, with the staking of HBO Max's $70 million towards the project, uh, we've been given Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, I want to just dive a little bit first into the characters. Okay. Because I think that we, we, we know the original 2017 Justice League. Uh, the characters are flimsy, thin, not good. Just terrible. They're terrible. Uh, and so much of that film <laughs> butchered what was Zack Snyder's film at the time. I want to say butcher, I'll say taken away and added on. It, it, that's butchering. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally it's like stripping. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> everything it's out gone. of it. Gone. Here's the new stuff. Yeah. yeah, and at the end of the day, th th this film was what we have today is what we should have been given back in 2017. Yep. Uh, we have characters like Cyborg. We have characters like Aquaman. Yeah. Flash. Flash, and all of these characters have been built upon. Uh, in a way that we never had before, mm. and that is actually uh, a really, really well, yep. uh, well made and uh, well written. Mm. Uh, it, I, I, I don't know. There's, there's things that anger me. There's, yeah, <laughs> with it's, the fact that it, so much of it was taken away, <laughs> like originally. Yeah. It, to me, it just makes no sense at all no. to go in the direction that they did, and. It, I can understand this is what they're thinking. They're probably, probably thinking, okay, Marvel's doing this. Let's try and copy that. That's the only yeah. solution I can come up in my head. Yeah. So, also, what else is there? Also, they had Batman vs Superman got panned. Uh, Suicide Squad got panned. Both those movies weren't liked originally. Mm. I can see from a studio perspective, they were probably under pressure. You know what? But I just thought of it then. Batman vs Superman. I wonder if that was touched as well. Well, he got an ultimate cut. He got his final cut. Okay. And that was a three hour, 30 minute I movie as well. It's fantastic. It. Way better than the original. Okay. I've got to watch that. Yeah. But I like how this movie continues off. Yeah. From that movie. Yeah. And also, it makes more sense. It also uh, continues on with the other characters. Yep. Flash That's... feels like he's going in a direction with his film. Mm. Aquaman, yep. actually, his film connects to this. Mm. It makes sense. Yep. And I just. I, there's a portion, like a portion of me, portion of me, a portion of <laughs> Jesus, a portion of me that doesn't understand how mm. you could cut all this. Yeah. By the end of it, um, Zack Snyder uh, got rid of every single shot that Joss Whedon put into the film, yeah, and rightly so. Yeah, and rightly so. Uh, he took the ten percent that was used and added the rest of his film on, mm. which was already present. Yeah, and supposedly the extra shots in it only amounted to about five minutes of extra reshoots. Mm. Uh, in the last year, yeah. there was gonna... over 2,000 new CGI shots. Oh, but... Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, I knew that. Uh. I was going to say, what's better, right? Mm. 
characters are better. Yes. Story's better. Correct. Fight scenes are better. Yes. Uh, the, the music. The music's better. Is so much better. Tom Holkenberg finally got to release his score, Junkie yep. XL. Yep. Got to release his score into the film, which was taken away from him as well. Yeah, Hans Zimmer brought his uh, score in. Yeah, it wasn't and good. He, these people were, were told to fix something. Yeah. yeah. To fix something that wasn't broken. It wasn't broken. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Costumes are better. Costumes are better. Everything's... Uh, there's not really much that it, isn't... It, uh, it flows better. For the, four hours, I thought it went for an hour and a half. Yeah, it felt like an hour and a half, two-hour film. Um, and the whole ending is just a whole new piece, and it makes... Oh, are we going to get into spoiler talk? <laughs> uh, I think... <laughs> Can I we think, spoil Yeah, it? let's spoil it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, the whole ending of this, like the original one, yes. you had the Flash helping uh, these straggling humans in this... Uh, yeah, yeah, he was rescuing people. Rescuing town. people in... Yeah, in like a town that's supposed to have no one in it. Yeah. It's, al- it's, it's just, almost the equivalent of Chernobyl. It's weird. So you got this... Ba- <laughs> like a... Like a, uh, a... Like a macho moment between... Uh, the Flash, who's helping this little kid or whatever, yeah, you know, on this little car thing, and then you got Superman lifts up the whole building and takes all these people out. This is it's, the 2017 film. Yeah, this whole this whole scene in Zack's version shows a Flash L- bloody going. Oh, God, I just swore. <laughs> bloody it's all changing, right. I think you're changing. Fine. <laughs> yeah, he's going back in time. He he heals himself. He goes back in time. To stop this crazy moment he from happening, literally goes from a character that is saving one or two people to saving the world. To world, and <laughs> the whole time his dad's like he's got this whole thing of his dad in the background talking to him. Yeah, there's that that, and plus the father figure the foresha- stuff. Foreshadowing in the film is fantastic. Yeah. Everything that is given about their parents is useful to the film. Mm. All the characters grow. I mean, even at the end, Flash has a moment with his father and law school and all that. And uh, I just, I mean, all these characters uh, pretty much got what they deserved. And uh, my question is, has justice been served for the wrongdoings against Zack Snyder? Yes. (laughs) This is a redemption tale. (laughs) That's what Zack Snyder's Justice League is. Can I just say, I was not keen to watch this movie. I think you guys already know that you're following. I wasn't keen to watch this. But, man, look, I'm going to say, man, it's... Zack Snyder is a genius. Yeah. He, look, people say his movies are dark. I don't think they're dark. I just think they're moody, which is different. It's the way that they're shot, right? He now has a very specific visual style. Ev- look, everything... A lot of slow-mo. Yeah. Oh, I love <laughs> you, slow-mo. Uh, you love slow-mo. Look, they could have got a bit. <laughs> his, look, his films have heart. I'm just going to mm. say that right now. Yeah. Like, if I watch a, a, a Bay film, look, nobody can do Bay like Bay. Everyone knows that, right? Yeah. But they watch for entertainment. Yeah, it's, yeah they're, they're popcorn movies. Yeah, they really I just are. think this movie here, like, I know, you know, his poor daughter, you know, took her own life and stuff. Yeah. Man, I got chills at the end just watching this. And I, I, I actually see there's a there's a father role in this movie that's strongly present. There's emotional poetry for the film. Yeah, 100%. 100%. By the end of it, it is uh, very cathartic for, for Snyder. Yeah, man. Also, he is, isn't getting paid for this. Mm. All of the proceeds uh, that he makes is going towards uh, the American Foundation for Suicide Pre- mm. Prevention. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, it is close to his heart, the film, in, yeah. in more ways than just it being a comic book film. Mm. Uh, and I think that's what resonates by the end of yeah, it. Yeah, I think, oh, man, there's, there's so many parental uh, throwbacks in this movie. Yeah. And Heaps. by the way, can I just... The movie's battle scenes. Oh, oh my god! We, <laughs> we skipped that point. I know we because skipped... it's so good. Yeah. I thought we'd end off with it. <laughs> I, ha- I, was, I said it in the podcast. How good is seeing Zeus throw lightning bolts? Zeus throwing lightning bolts, having an Ares, having the axe, and, and by the way, and the... Steppenwolf. Yeah, it looks way actually better. is a villain in this. Yeah, and has, has motive, has purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dark Side. We didn't talk about Dark, Dark Side as Dark well. Side. I mean, he's like in it for only a split second, but. Having him be on the battle of the old gods, by the end of this movie, you feel like these are the new gods. Mm. But these the, are the new gods. Yeah. The, the, th- the thing is, as well, this movie they did the the Marvel thing. Yeah. Where Dark Side started to win. Yeah. 
And then, you know, we get the whole flash superpower thing. It's like, oh, man, this is damn good. Yeah, pretty much. We we did have a, a Thanos moment where yeah. it was like, yeah, it was almost it. like the turning of the chair at the end mm. where we see Darkseid and he says, um, prep the armada. Yeah. Are you sh- <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> but you know, you know what sucks is we're probably never gonna see never the rest of Zach's vision. They got to this movie has to make some real money and or I mean I don't think Zach will ever come back. Mm. I think he's finished. It's too much of a journey. Yeah. It's it's tiring. Oh yeah, and you know I, I understandable at the end of the day. Um, final thoughts. Final thoughts, man. I look. This is a great movie. If you're invested into the comic book genre and not a Marvel fan, because it's different, they're different movies. They are, as well as this movie is. A, this is a, this movie vision. breathes. Like yeah. I mean, it it allows time for the shots, the mm. scenes, and that's something people aren't used to. Is letting a film, uh, uh, breathing is when you let shots mm. linger, where you let moments linger, and yeah. it's supposed to have emotional resonance. Mm. And uh, people are too quick now. They want things coming fast and next yeah. thing and the next thing. I just think if you're going to watch this, right, watch his other movies first. Of course. Because they'll, they'll tie in. You can watch them in order. Just, just They'll tie in. All you need is Man of Steel mm. and Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, and then this one. And then this one. That's, so that's his trilogy. And watch the ultimate cut of Batman vs. Superman. It's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. I promise. Mm. You know, this is a ten-hour ru- all up. That's ten hours of yeah, movie. That's a much. lot. <laughs> to me, it's like a it's like a visual feast. It really is. Yeah. And uh, I mean, honestly, this is at the moment, it's his magnum opus. Yeah, and, I, I think and, it is, yeah, man. Yeah, and I it's well deserved. I think this movie. <laughs> I'm just glad that we were able to watch it. Yeah, and we got the chance to. Yeah. And I think that uh, Warner Brothers should be ashamed. Uh, I, at the end of the day. Uh, they should they should be at least giving him an apology. Yeah, uh, and and uh, the actors. Yeah, look at man Cyborg man like he's again he's the heart of the, the heart of the film. Yeah, Ray Fisher should be apologised to as well. It's oh, not uh, right. Yeah, these the actor just the whole thing is a a, a, a hot mess yeah. and it, it deserved more than what it was mm. given. I just hope I hope audience in the future uh, believe the filmmaker. Yes, uh, and and accept. His vision, because yes. you change, you change that formula. Look what look what happened. Even if the film isn't going to be good, I mm. rather see what the filmmaker wants to create, their vision, mm. and, and then make my decision from there. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like that's really what would end it off for yeah. me. I'm giving this movie an eight point five out of ten. Mm. Yeah, I'm giving it an eight out yeah. of ten. And that's fair enough. They're good scores. They're yeah. really good scores. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, look, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch this again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've watched it twice. Yeah. So <laughs> that's good. crazy. Yeah. We, we could have watched this on the cin- in a cinema. I should, oh, I this movie in a cinema yeah. with an intermission would be fantastic. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out Neon Radio Podcast for more spoil-filled, in-depth reviews. And check out Neon Radio Reviews on Instagram and Facebook to see what we're doing next. Yes. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you thought of the new Zack Snyder's Justice League. We'd oh, love yes. to know your thoughts. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Um, do and you agree? Do they agree with us? Yes. Uh, is this the tale could of be, redemption or yeah. do people think that it's trash? Yeah. <laughs> it could be divided. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, thank you for watching this week. And Dan, can you take us out? <laughs> I am the real Zack Snyder. 